Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm doing a haul, but I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, some OR supplies. This is just stuff from a case that was canceled and these are things you could use around the house or just like get good use out of. And then some things are just because I wanted to show you guys and they would be more entertaining for the haul. If you guys didn't know, I'm a surgical technologist and I gather all like the supplies needed for different cases and I help and assist during surgery, various different specialties. So it's a very fun job and a lot of you, well not a lot, but some of you guys have requested more like surgical tech videos and honestly like I don't really want to make my channel like all about that, but this is something fun and different. If you want to see like more inside the OR or just like me dancing in scrubs, follow me on TikTok. I don't post a lot on there, but there's just more OR content over there. But um, yeah, this is something fun and different. So anyway, let's just get on to what I have collected. <laughs> This is in no particular order, but um, starting off we have these sponges and there's like 10 of them. They're called Raytex. So basically they use these like in almost every procedure. They're kind of like four by fours, like the ones that you use to like cover a wound or have it as a dressing, but they are radiopaque. So meaning this blue stripe right here is x-ray detectable and that's just so they don't get lost in the patient and they're also a soft item that you always need to count so there's 10 of these these are lap sponges there's five of them um short for laparotomy sponge they use this in big open belly cases and stuff sometimes you'll like wet them and then squeeze it out so they're like damp other times they're used for like hemostasis and I don't know, I like lap sponges. They're, they're kind of cool, but they're also risky because you could lose them in a patient. So that's why this blue strip is also visible by x-ray. And yeah, like, I don't know, they're kind of cool. You can use them around the house as rags and stuff. Next up, I have this suction tubing and a suction. So this right here is a Yankauer suction and you know, just used to suck things. <laughs> <laughs> as silly as it sounds and then um we have this suction tubing so like so when you're like getting ready and stuff you have to throw an end off and you have to kind of do it fast because like they're waiting so anyway there's two ends of the suction and you keep one and then you toss one off so it'll be plugged into this machine that will actually use you know suck whatever blood or whatever they need to be sucked i don't know but anyway, then you hook this up and then you have your suction. So this end is connected to the little canister and then this is on your field where the procedure is happening. Next up, we have the stockinette. And basically when you're like going to drape a patient for like an orthopedics case or something, you'll like grab the foot or hand with this thing and then they'll like do this, they'll unfold it and then the tourniquets like here, they'll do that and then they'll put the drape over. So like there's gonna be drape and then they cut, um, they cut the stockinette. But that's just for draping purposes. You know what I first thought of when I learned what this was? I thought it was a sock bun. Do you remember those? People would like do their hair and then like their bun would be like perfect and it's like a sock bun. Next up, we have a skin marker so this is just to like mark the patient this purple end is uh what you'd use on like on the skin part and then this is kind of like a permanent marker kind of like a sharpie it even has yeah it even has like a sharpie scent to it as well next up i just have a syringe this is just a normal 10 cc syringe you've definitely seen one of these this is a turkey baster i'm just kidding this is known as an acepto or bulb syringe and you just fill it with saline um, and then they can use it as irrigation to like clear where the site's bleeding or just like flush out whatever or irrigate whatever they need to. So like the surgeon will be like irrigation and then you just like put it in their hand like you know like that and then they like spray the saline onto whatever site they need to spray it on. 
Next are gloves. And I got this request to do another gowning gloving video. If I ever have time, kind of like if I ever work a weekend or a holiday, I'll have the time I can probably do that, like a gowning gloving video. But also too, I'm gonna save um, these so I can do a open gloving technique video, which is gonna be like literally 30 seconds, but I don't know, some people, I don't know, like those videos and they're searchable, so yeah, I'll do that. But not right now. Um, and then we had this instrument pouch. These are used when, like, you have to put the bovi somewhere that's not just, like, on the mayo, like, stuck on um, the side of the mayo, like, inside the mayo stand cover, which I have one of those, so I'll show you guys. But these are really convenient. I always like using them for, like, ortho cases or cases, like, ENT cases. They're just really convenient. And you just unstick. There's, like, an adhesive part, and it's pretty sticky. Um, and then you stick this part on the drape and it just hangs and to go along with that We have our bovi and this is something this end also gets thrown off with the suction and everything and then Here's the little bovi tip It kind of looks like that So when they go in and they're like, you know, boving. Oh my gosh, that is kind of sharp. That's kind of funny anyway so this is the bovi and this cuts and coagulates and as you can see here oops so that's like the little buttons and then i've already shown this on my channel i think i have another one um, but this is kind of what the instrument pouch is for you put the bovi inside the instrument pouch like this and then you stick it on the drape here and then you can then the surgeon can just like grab it out of there blah blah like do whatever and then like stick it back sometimes i don't stick it back which you can do that part but anyway yeah sometimes the suction will also if the suction's like small enough this is kind of large but you can also like stick the suction in these pouches you can also stick you know different um forceps in these pouches so convenient Next up, you can never have too many towels. So I always use these. I keep them in my car or like my room or bathroom and use these for cleaning as well. Next up, we have this thing called an S mark and this is to exanguinate the limb. So if you're like doing, obviously this is an orthopedics case that got canceled, but what the surgeon will do or the resident, they'll like use it around your arm like this, whoops. Pretend this is like nicely tight wrapped around and they'll hold it up like this and then they'll be like tourniquet up and then all the blood kind of like gets pushed, you know, out of the limb so they can operate. Next we have this web roll and this is just used for after the case as like a dressing. You've probably seen this too. And then... These are stickers and everything like should be labeled on your field. The field is kind of like the sterile field, which is the table. So we have these pre-made labels. So this is the first one, first label sheet. This is the second one. That's what that looks like. And then here is, this is what the third sheet looks like. The fourth sheet is plain. And I always like these to like secure the bovi. So what I'll do in the OR, this is actually something I'll do. Obviously I have like gowns and gloves on, but I'll take two of these stickers like this and then tape it on here and then flip it up like that. And then take two other ones. This is weird doing this bare hands, <laughs> kind of weird. So take two of these, as you can see, stick it on the other side because this thing breaks off like this, this tag breaks off. So you wanna secure it because when you stick it in the mayo, pretend this is like the mayo, you just like stick it there and you don't want this thing like falling off. So we use these stickers to stick on here. And then last but not least, I have a mayo stand cover. So basically when that little table that sits above the patient, um, we have a mayo stand cover to drape the mayo and everything. So you, what you'll do is like, you see these hands here? You put your hands under here like this, and then you have this table thing and you 
and you shove this mayo stand cover over it. So like pretend you're the mayo stand, like it'll like go through this opening and then you just shove it on there. So yeah. And that my friends is everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun video. It was something different. I got off work early today. So I was like, oh, you know what? It's a perfect time to film and edit and upload a little haul. And it might have been entertaining. It might not have been, but it's something fun to put on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you found me through like my surgical tech videos. I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.